What is up, Madden 25 Gamers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an advanced tip used in many tournaments all around the country. A lot of people use this tactic. I think it's very important that we take a look at it today and uh, talk a little bit about it. We're going to talk a little bit more about it in our defensive ebook, our defensive guide we've got. And also, if you guys do not know, um, myself and Zboy365 uh, are considering doing a little bit of a joint uh, ebook comp kind of deal. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know. And also, I need to know what you guys would think a. What do you think a fair price would be for that? Um, uh, it's just something I, it's just something I'm curious about. Uh, we don't have a set. Me and him just kind of mentioned to us the other day. We don't really have a set stand, standard or guideline. But we do. Uh, just want to throw that idea out there at you and see what you guys would be willing to pay for that. Uh, just so we have a, you know, what what is a fair price to pay for, you know, hours and hours of footage that you guys will be receiving if you bought that ebook. So. Um, anyways, I just wanted to know, uh, it's not set in stone that I am going to actually be doing it, but I am very, very, uh, we are very, 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 very strongly considering it. So, at this point, uh, that's probably the best information I can give to you on that. Now onto the tip, and let's take a look at this. So, user baiting, what I like to do with this, um, this is basically, you're basically trying to cover two routes with one person. So, uh, what I like to do is I like to set up heavy coverage outside. So, what I'll do is I'll set up a standard blitz. We broke this down in the last video. And, and then I'll put these outside corners in, in hook zones. And, you know, obviously I would come out in a play that already had this done for me. But this is just for an example. And so, here what I would do is I would use it this middle linebacker. Because now I know that this is my assignment. So, then, so I would set up, you know, the standard purple, um, purple um yellow concept to one side so that outside is taken away and then now i'm going to use her so i know that the initial middle is going to be taken away because the deep blue is in the middle but then i have to get there with mccarthy so my job is i'm going to stand in the a gap because i know that's what the blitz needs and then i'm going to jump to y and then i'm going to come back to a and that's how i like to use her bait uh, i'll basically try to defend two people at one time so start going to y come back to a and i and if i was paid manning you know a lot of times and let's take a look at what that looks like from a quarterback standpoint um mainly watching the the whole play develop here but you're looking he goes to the left guy like he's going to go defend him then you're thinking, okay, well, then all of a sudden he jumps back. At that point, you have to make a decision. Are you throwing that ball? And this is where the pressure comes in, and the pressure's heavy, heavy pressure coming at him hot. You see, the only real thing open is that post route, but I took that away at the snap. Maybe he thinks that's not there, and that's how you use your bait in Madden 25. Uh, what I like to do is I like to show them that one thing is taken away when it's actually not, and then jump back on something that they think they have. So one of the things on this play that that would be... Um, Typically, sometimes what I'll do is also try to take away that post to Decker. So I'll say, okay, well, I'm going to stay with A at the snap so instead of staying with Decker. So what I'll do is I'll grab this guy, Griffin, now and um, sit him in the A gap. And now I'm going to jump to A and then go to go to Y. So snap, go, jump A. Oh, that was horrible user skill, though. You have to use L2 uh, when doing this tactic. Uh, because you need to strafe so that you can jump back there. I let my hand slip off the button, unfortunately. And sometimes that will happen in this year's game. But you're basically just going to jump here and then sprint out at that and basically scream at it. Uh, so basically here we're looking. Snap, go. Jump here and then get back over there on Y. And, and, and right at that point, you know, he would be throwing the ball, getting rid of the ball. The idea here again... Try to get your in your opponent's head. Try to basically just jump something. The pressure is going to be hot. But the idea uh, also is that we're going to take away the outside with coverage. We're mainly trying to use it in the middle. Uh, so here we jump onto one and then spray out to that other one. And we can maybe get a swat on that. Probably wouldn't be able to get an interception. We were a little late that time of like recovery. But again, the idea is there and the pressure is there. It's a very, very deceptive coverage. Just wanted to t uh, put a little spin on that, see what you guys thought about that user baiting tactic. Let me know what you guys think. Really appreciate it. But the idea of user baiting, making your opponent think that something is open when it's actually not. So that you basically, what you're going to do is you're going to set up coverage with your zones. And then you're going to user someone and then jump onto that route at that specific point where your computer where your computer might throw it. Um, and I think that this is a very effective tactic. Some people may not use in Man 25. I think you guys definitely need to start using it uh, if you're going to be successful uh, in this year's edition of the game. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions about user baiting, any tips uh, that you didn't understand from the video, uh, let me know. Also, be sure to check out my man Zboy365 over at MaddenMoments.com. 
Got a lot of ebooks up there already for you guys to check out. And also, I encourage you to check out the winner's kit in Men NFL 25 uh, from MaddenTips.com. A lot of good stuff from them. Uh, as always, guys, very clean, very good material from them. Uh, it's really going to help you guys play defense and offense in this year's game. Uh, you won't regret checking out MaddenTips.com, one of the best websites in the Madden community right now. Uh, so, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out those links and let me know what you guys thought of the video. Appreciate it. See you later.